So I'm here with Jennifer Goss. It's a Council of Europe exhibit, which happens quite often. We have regular exhibitors, but Jennifer, you are uh, dealing with trauma recovery. Correct. And 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 what? How does your work? How does your art reflect trauma recovery? Uh, I I think for me, it's a, it's about the process. I think everything in recovery is about process. We're never really fully quote unquote recovered. Um, it's building layers or revealing layers, taking layers off, finding the source of the trauma, and then working toward a place of healing in that space. Uh, for me, the visual is much more effective than, say, uh, uh, words, because the issues I'm dealing with are trauma against women, um, vulner the vulnerability of that, sexual abuse, uh, rape, violence uh, against women, especially in war situations, um, genocide survivors and things like that, you can't speak about those things. Uh, so in order for the healing process to take place, there should be some catalyst. And oftentimes the visual is a catalyst that uh, goes beyond words. So tell us about this particular series of paintings and maybe this particular work here. This specific piece is called Queen on Color. And uh, Queen on Color is a statement that you, you make when the game begins, mm -hmm. the chess game. Uh, so she is involved in what's considered a game. I've laid out the, 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 the uh, flooring in a checkerboard style, but it's actually the floor of a, of a home that has been constructed uh, where women who have been abused will come and learn techniques uh, for home economics so that they'll be able to feed their children um, when they're out of prison. Most of them have been in prison because they've been raped and they've found themselves pregnant, so they're put in prison in their country. And you've so, been to some war zones, and, and yeah. this, you've seen this kind of yeah, thing this, firsthand. This painting is in northern Iraq, and this is actually me. <laughs> Sitting in the room, it's my back. Um, so she's facing the wall, so the idea that the game begins, but there doesn't look to her to be any place forward. Um, I use pattern materials, so I go back to the idea of home economics, um, making things by hand. So if you see, this is patterns um, that you use to make your own clothing. And this says front lining, but it's on her back. So the juxtaposition of the idea of the game beginning, but there's nowhere to go, the front of the painting, the front of the pattern, but it's on her back. Um, and then the throne, which is an old garden chair. Um, so it's, it's truly not you know, what we would consider a wealthy throne. Uh, one of the things that I think is my greatest desire in putting this work together is to make something beautiful, to speak into something that's dark, uh, instead of a voyeuristic perspective, which I find oftentimes people dealing with this, these scenarios are very voyeuristic. Um, that doesn't help <laughs> with the healing process. I wanted to bring some honor and some some beauty and some value to the to the people that I I tell the story. Well, Jennifer, welcome to the Council of Europe, and thanks, thanks for c having us see your art. Thanks, Madam. Super.